Today's lessons, we are going to discuss heterogeneous mixture. What I need to know. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to describe the appearance and uses of heterogeneous mixture. After going through this lesson, you are expected to describe the appearance of non-uniform heterogeneous mixture, illustrate simple activities showing the appearance of non-uniform mixtures, relate simple activities of non-uniform mixtures to their daily lives. What I know. Direction. Write yes if it is an example of heterogeneous mixture and no if it is not. Here we go. Look at the picture. 1. Halo-halo 2. Hot coffee 3. Noodles 4. Juice 5. Pizza 6. Milk I will give you 10 seconds to answer it. You may now start. Okay, I think you're done. Let's check your answer. 1. Yes. 2. No. 3. Yes. 4. No. 5. Yes. 6. No. Okay, congratulations if you got it all correct. What is in? List down five examples of heterogeneous mixture that you can see at home. Example, fruit salad, chili oil. Those are examples of heterogeneous mixture because you can see those ingredients after combining or those ingredients are still recognized. Okay, it's your turn. I'll give you 10 seconds again to answer it. Okay, I think you're done. Let's check your answer later. What's new? What is heterogeneous mixture? A heterogeneous mixture is a mixture with a non-uniform composition. The composition varies from one region to another with at least two phases that remain separate from each other with clearly identifiable properties. If you examine a sample of a heterogeneous mixture, you can see the separate components. Let's see, pizza, that is an example of heterogeneous mixture because you can see separate components like tomato and then the cheese. Another one is salad. Fruit salad, still you can identify those ingredients or those components added to it. You still see the strawberry and other ingredients, pineapple. Okay, so again, heterogeneous mixture, you can see the components you added. Okay, so again, heterogeneous mixture, that is a mixture or combination of two or more uh, things added, but still, you can identify those uh, components. Sugar and sand form a heterogeneous mixture. If you look closely, you can identify tiny sugar crystals and particles of sand. So that is a heterogeneous mixture. Ice cubes in cola form a heterogeneous mixture. The ice and soda are in two distinct phases of matter that is solid and liquid. Salt and pepper form a heterogeneous mixture too. Because you can identify the pepper and salt in it. What is it? Activity time. 
We have three objectives here to perform the activity. First, describe the appearance of non-uniform heterogeneous mixtures. Second, illustrate simple activities showing the appearance of non-uniform mixtures. Third, relate simple activities of non-uniform mixtures to their daily lives. What you need? One sachet of whole black pepper, 100 ml water, one plastic glass and one plastic spoon, marker, and measuring cups. What to do? Gather all the materials and observe them. Prepare a table for recordings. Put 100 ml of water into the plastic glass. Add the whole black pepper and observe. Stir the mixture. Okay, I think you're done. Complete the table below. Draw how it appears. When you added whole black pepper, then draw after stirring the mixture. Guide questions. One, what did you see in the water when you added whole black pepper? Two, what happened? To the whole black pepper after stirring the mixture. Why? 3. What other examples do you have at home that show the same appearance like the mixture that you did? I'll give you 10 seconds to answer it. Okay, let's check. Number one, what did you see in the water when you added whole black pepper? We have the same answer, a mixture of water and black pepper, correct. Second, what happened to the whole black pepper after stirring the mixture? The black pepper float in the water, absolutely correct. Why? Because it is light substance. What other examples do you have at home that show the same appearance like the mixture that you did? Mine, oil, and water. Okay. What I have learned. Complete the paragraph by writing the correct words about heterogeneous mixture. Choose your answer on the box. Uniform, visible, solid, mixture. Components recognizable. Okay, non uniform heterogeneous mixture is a blank that does not have blank composition. The composition of heterogeneous mixture does not blend throughout. The faces or substances are all blank, the individual blank are blank. Okay, I'll give you 10 seconds to answer it. Okay, let's check your answer. Non-uniform heterogeneous mixture is a mixture that does not have uniform composition the composition of a heterogeneous mixture does not blend throughout the faces or substances are all visible the individual components are recognizable you got it correct what's more put check if it is non-uniform mixtures and put X if not. Are you ready? Okay, let's proceed. Oil and water. Two, salt and water. Three, boko pandan. Four, cereals and milk. 
5, sago at gulaman. Okay, let's check your answer. For number 1, congratulations. Number 2, number 3, number 4, and number 5. Good job. Okay. What I can do? Draw or give five examples of heterogeneous mixtures and give its uses. Example, fruits plus milk plus cream. You got fruit salad and that is dessert okay it's your turn moving on assessment direction right through if the statement is correct and false if the statement is incorrect. 1. Oregano leaf and water can form non-uniform mixture. 2. Heterogeneous mixture has uniform composition throughout. 3. Substances in heterogeneous mixture are not visible. 4. Oil and water is an example of heterogeneous mixture. 5. Mixing sand and pebbles formed a non-uniform mixture. Okay, let's check your answer. For item number 1. True. Number two, false. Three, false. Four, true. Five, true. You got it all correct. Congratulations. For your additional activities, fill in a clear thin bottle with different kinds of seeds or different colors of sand or pebbles to form a decorative bottle. Display your bottles. Like this. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. Those are colorful sands. And seeds. Okay. That's all for today. See you in our next lesson. Our next lesson is different techniques in separating mixtures. Thank you and stay safe everyone. God bless.